Western Europe, there were many power struggles between secular royalty and the church. None more prominent than the power struggle between King Henry IV of Germany and Pope Gregory VII. As emperor, my land spanned from Germany to the entire Italian peninsula. With God as my witness, I will not allow any leader, including the power-hungry Henry, to interfere with my leadership of the church. Slogan. At the heart of this conflict, spanning over 50 years, was the issue of lay investiture. The emperors were the lay people, or people not of the clergy, and they believed that the emperor should invest or present the bishops with the ring and staff of the office. But the pope did not think so. He believed that he was the only one who had the right to appoint the bishops, and the disagreement about this particular issue brought about a feud between the two most powerful people in Western Europe. The pope is not happy with the fact that I have the ability as the Holy Roman Emperor to appoint my bishops, then so be it. It is time for me to take action on the subject of lay investiture. As part of my reforms, the church should become independent of these lay rulers. So, no more will kings or emperors have the right to invest the bishops. I hereby ban this practice and will inform King Henry of my decision in a strongly worded letter. The king received the pope's letter and was infuriated. Insulting letters flew back and forth. They used royal hawks, possibly known as Yahoo and Google. Eventually, the argument came to a boil. Your Highness, a message from the Pope. What a blowhard! How dare you forbid me from appointing my own bishops? There's so much at stake here. Not only do I need men who will do my bidding, I also need the income. For years, we emperors have benefited from the silver and gold that had come into our coffers from those who want to be bishops. I must figure something out. Henry should have received my letter by now. I bet he is fuming. But it is only right. The bishops serve the church and should report only to me. These bishops should not be paying the king, and they should not be acting in favor of him. I must write back to the pope. It is true that bishops serve the church, but the reason they hold their lands is because of me. They are royal fiefs, therefore they should look to me, their king. I don't recognize Pope Gregory's authority in this matter. I am their ruler. Each man held to his position on the issue and tried to convince the other of his rights. The outcome was rather dramatic. By the way, that was not me. What is this? A letter from King Henry? I have had enough. God himself has given me power over all secular rulers and their kingdoms, and that includes that blasted King Henry. He has given me no choice but to take him down with no mercy. I will excommunicate him from the church and appoint a new emperor. His vassals will have to follow me. They will rebel against him and make it impossible for him to rule. When Pope Gregory excommunicated King Henry IV in a letter in 1076 AD, he cited the power of the church and freed all of Henry's Christian subjects from their allegiance to him. The Pope prepared to head north to crown an emperor. It is 938 years ago to the month. Henry was faced with the real possibility that he may have to give up his throne and that his subjects would rebel against him. He had no po choice but to go to the Pope in drastic measures to save his throne. <laughs> Unless I grovel before the Pope, my rule is at an end. I, King Henry, who have never left my lands, must now leave Germany and head to the city of Canosa in the Italian peninsula, across the Alps and across Europe. 
I go to make peace with the Pope. Who can outside it? My scouts tell me Henry is taking drastic measures to keep his throne. They tell me he is walking all the way to Canosa, through the Alps, to meet with me. No doubt he will present himself as a remorseful sinner. Whether or not this is true, I must consider my options. The walk of Canosa symbolized more than just the Pope having to grant Henry his throne back. King Henry, used to his luxurious, luxe life at the palace, never having to leave, showed his desire to keep the throne by walking for days all across Europe and then waiting for three days in the Italian city of Canosa in the snow before the Pope eventually took pity. reconciliation. I hereby confess to all my sins, and I ask if I may keep my throne. Thank you, my son. You have sinned against the church, yet you come all this way to seek forgiveness. Of course, I am forced to forgive you as a confessed sinner, and I will lift your excommunication and allow you to keep your throne. The Concordat of Worms gave the church the power to elect the bishops, while the Holy Roman Emperor was still allowed to invest in them with faith. The power struggle between Pope and King was one that changed the course of history. Lasting for almost 50 years, it ended with the system that now controls church appointments. This was engineering conflict with Eli Lilly.